Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the US dollar, Japanese yen, FX for Thursday, July the 16th. Well, an interesting uh, trading day today. We have a few Japanese candlestick signals on this market today. Now importantly though, the trend of this market is still up. Uh, we had a previous higher high and higher low. The candle before that was a higher high and higher low. Now we have a lower high but a higher low. In bar chart terms, that's what we call an inside day. An inside day is a uh, day of uh, that denotes indecision and it means that the bulls weren't strong enough to take out the uh, previous high. And that means that... Um, that there is a danger for a reversal in this market, but it uh, doesn't um, tell us that it's happened yet. We need a lower high and a lower low for there to be a reversal, but there is potential there for that to happen. Uh, now, this market could uh, continue trending up too, so we need to be aware of that. So with technical analysis, we assume that the previous trend is in force until we have evidence otherwise, and we don't have evidence that the trend has changed to the downside yet, so we assume that the uptrend is still in force. Now, with the candlesticks, though, we also have two other important patterns. And we have a nice little trending uh, move here from uh, this significant uh, uh, resistant, uh, support area that we had down here. We have a tweezers top, and that's when the highs of the um, current candles are pretty close together within the same region. And uh, that's called a tweezers top, and usually a fairly um, uh, strong reversal signal. But we do need confirmation of that signal. We also have a harami pattern, and that's where the body of the current candle is within the body of the previous candle. So the basically the body of the uh, current candle is engulfed by the previous candle, and that's a potential signal um, for a reversal as well. Combine that with the fact that uh, the candle is turned green, uh, sorry, red from green, and that means that the bears have made net progress for the day. So the bears are starting to um, to take uh, some sort of um, uh, they're starting to take some sort of um, strength from this market. Now, um, interestingly, though, the bears weren't strong enough to close the market down near the low, which is fairly significant. So the the, the market has closed mid range, which means that the bears haven't taken control of the market, even though on the day they made net progress, but still not um, as uh, bearish as. Uh, as um, those that might be short would like to see. Now, with all of these um, uh, potential signals that we're getting, we do need confirmation of there to be a reversal of trend. And so we need to look to the uh, low of the current candle for confirmation. So if that low is taken out, then we would expect that the market will trend down to this support zone down here that we've highlighted in yellow. So potential for the market to trade down there, but we need confirmation of that. Now, as the market approached this area that we identified, we highlighted this brown area here, and we know that uh, supporter resistance acts in uh, zones. And uh, if we look at the wicks on these candles, there was buying coming in as the market traded down to this area, and we know that um, an area of support can turn into an area of resistance, and that's what's happened here. So this area has started to exert its um, uh, selling power quite a little bit um, down below the mark area that we've uh, highlighted. But certainly, uh, because we've had these uh, shadows or wicks on top, it showed us that there was selling uh, pressure coming in a little bit earlier there. So maybe uh, um, the bears have preempted the selling that was going to come into the market there. Now, just looking at where we're trading in relation to the Ichimoku lines, we are trading down below the cloud, which means that the market still is essentially bearish. So um, anyone that's thinking of uh, trading with that higher time frame trend, this pattern uh, could be a good potential signal to take to go short. We need to understand that we're limited with the uh, potential of the trade because of the uh, support area down here. But um, uh, the time frame, uh, the second time the trend is in a, a downtrend in the second time frame, so we need to be aware of that. So the, the higher time frame trend will uh, exert itself. Now also, with the Tenkinten and Kijinten, the Kijinten has turned flat, and that tends to be an attractor of price action, and that's what the market was doing here. It was um, travelling back up towards the Kijinten. Whether it gets there or not, it, it, we can't say, but the market could actually take out the high of the current candle and trade up to the Kijinten. That is a possibility, so we need to be aware of the uh, 
of those highs and look at how the market is trading in relation to those. If it does trade up there, well, then we need to look for further price rejection, downside price rejection. So um, an interesting day so for the market tomorrow. So the low of the current candle becomes important and the high of the current candle. Mm-hmm.